Hi guys and welcome back to another video tutorial here at Rachel Productions. We're working on Blender Cycles 2.7 but uh, you can also work on a earlier edition of a Blender Render or Cycles Render. Um, what we are going to be doing is adding a vertex, a single vertex. Um, if you go into um, your um, uh, uh, tabs here, if you wanted to add or create by pressing on that tab there, uh, an object, you'll notice we have the plane, the cube, etc. But there is nothing that allows you to add a single vertex. Now, sometimes you want to do that. Um, you may want to add um, or create some random uh, object or trace out an object using vertices. Um, and uh, this is the perfect opportunity now to show you how to do that. Um, the problem is that when you want to add a uh, single vertex or number of vertices, um, you would need to go into edit mode. Now, if I delete the cube uh, because I don't want it and I just want vertices or, or a single vertex, uh, when I want to go into edit mode, it's not possible because there is no object. So I need to have that cube there uh, or some object so that I can press tab and go into edit mode. Alright, so just bear that in mind first of all. Alright, now that you're in, e in edit mode, what you need to do is press A to deselect everything, including that cube of course. However, now this cube is in your way. Um, so let's just select it again by pressing the tab button and now that we're in edit mode we're going to um, press H and that will hide the cube. The cube is still there and you can tell because there's an origin of, of that cube uh, marked there in the center of our cursor. Now all you need to do is just press the control button and your left mouse button and wherever your mouse is there will be a vertex created. Um, the um, manipulator widget here is there and you can move your vertex wherever you wish okay and if we go into the uh, vertical plane there as well we can move it up and down and along the x and y axis as needed alright so that's how you add a single vertex now what if I want to add some more well simply press the control button and uh, let's say I want to trace around this, uh, this light here then I would just uh, press the mouse button again just be going around like that and I can then just uh, and I can then just trace around that alright um, and of course I can add by pressing control and my left mouse button I can um, move up and down the Z axis, 3D axis. I can basically create whatever I like. And if I select A, the problem now is going to be if I press Alt and H to unhide my or make my uh, cube visible, which is still there. Uh, when I want to now delete uh, that cube, I'm obviously going to be deleting this as well. Okay, so all you need to do is just select A to deselect everything again and then press B for box select. Uh, before you press B for box select, you want everything visible in your selection, so that means that it'll select the bottom vertices as well. So we press B for box select, and there you'll see all that is selected, and press delete vertices. Now you may be worrying uh, as to why there is still a origin there um, of that cube. Well that's not the origin of the cube, it is the actual origin now of the leftover vertices that you have added. Now what you need to do is pr press Control, Shift, Alt and C, quite a mouthful, Control, Shift, Alt and C, and you press Geometry to Origin to bring that uh, set of vertices uh, to the origin that is at the center there so that when you grab this now your origin will be in the center that's if you want it in the center of course okay guys I hope this quick tip and the shortcuts I've given you have helped you to sort this problem out and uh, keep an eye on uh, future quick tips and shortcuts from Rachel Productions